Let's welcome you to the Baptist Baptist Church here. We are so glad that you're here to worship with us today. Well, I don't know about you, but that's not the kind of church that I want to go to where you have to wear a mask and you can't uh, freely be with one another. There's been a couple of things we've had in our mind as we've went through this season with COVID-19. And one is, first of all, to keep our congregation safe. And what is the most uh, loving thing to do is to keep our family healthy and safe. And the second thing is to give you the best experience possible. And so we had a lot of learning to do when we first were learning how to do church online. And now we've had to learn how to do church in a, in a physical distancing kind of way, which has been good to at least be able to see each other, but it's been not what we've really wanted to be able to just worship together. And so uh, as a result of all the exploding numbers right now, we feel like as a staff, as a leadership team, that the safest thing to do and the wisest thing for us to do is to move our church services back online. There's a couple of reasons for that. One, again, just to keep everybody healthy and safe. Two, uh, so that you can have the best experience possible, not requiring masks. Many people are uncomfortable with that. It just, just uh, makes the worship difficult. And three, we're starting a new series. It's called We Are One Church. And I believe this may be part of God's design for us to be able to sit at home with our family groups and to really dissect this issue of unity in our culture. Uh, you know, unless you're living under a rock, it's, it's no secret that our culture is so divided right now. And I believe it's the church that has the answer in Jesus Christ. And so as we sit and discuss and talk about some hard things, I'm going to hit you pretty hard with some things to think about as a family group and to really have some open discussions. So I want you to use this time as we uh, are not meeting in person at church on Sundays to gather your family group. Even though it's Father's Day, uh, dads, gather your family, be a leader in this and begin this conversation. How can we intentionally break down the walls uh, between us here at Madison, in our communities, and in this country? What's our responsibility? What's our role? How does God call us to that? So I'm looking forward to that. And I just want to say thank you so much for uh, supporting Madison Church. I want to give you one big prayer request. As these uh, uh, cases rise and the numbers go up, we need to double down on our prayer for our children's center. You know, we can uh, worship uh, together in our family groups and we can uh, get teaching virtually online, but you can't do child care virtually. Uh, you have to be there in person. And so, uh, so many parents are depending on us to uh, have our children's center open. And it, it's also important for us financially to can you continue to move forward as a church, that we continue to have students come. And so uh, we want you to really pray with us that God will protect us during this season, that we will be a beacon of light, and that we will be able to make a change in our culture as we learn that we are one church and that Jesus has the answer for uh, unity in our, in our lives. And so I just want to finish with praying. We'll be sending you out a lot of information uh, via email and text so hopefully you're connected with us and we'll put this on Facebook and YouTube and give you an opportunity to know that we will not be meeting in person this Sunday and probably for the next several weeks and we'll give you more information as we go uh, but we will be having online services at 10 30 so make sure that you gather your family and join us let's pray God we come before you now we thank you so much that you are always in control that you give us wisdom, but you give us grace, you give us mercy, you give us uh, leaders in our lives that can help us uh, take a good path. And God, we just pray that as we make this decision, it would be your decision for us, that you would use it in some amazing way to help us really sit and be still and learn what we need to learn in these moments as we think about our divided culture and how our church and how us as Christians can really be the unifying factor as we bring Christ to a hurting world. So God, we pray that you would protect our children's center, that you would protect our families, everyone listening to the sound of my voice, that you would bless them with unity and with love and with grace as we go through these next weeks and months, that you would be glorified as we walk through it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, again, thanks for uh, supporting us and being with us, and we'll see you again real soon.